I closed in. My bad. It's not closed in. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my head layer up here. Now you see that. But I got to put back my free transform again. So you go to modify. Go to free transform. And now if you're ever in your timeline and you're animating. You could have him talk or something, and now you see it bends with the head perfectly. Well, <laughs> but yeah, you can do that. You could change the head if you want, you know, if he's turning or something. But yeah, I'm going to leave it where it was. But, okay. But um, let me get back to symbols real quick. But symbols, with the symbols, you have a library. And you have you 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 make the parts of the bodies that you want or anything that you want inside um adobe photoshop i mean flash what am i saying well i'm thinking about other programs here but sorry so i got the head and but one thing about having symbols is that you if you have more instances inside the timeline say for example i wanted the head to look different or something inside of another key point frame inside the timeline but when you try to edit the symbol you, you the all the um it will it will change all of the key points that's the one thing about the um having symbols like um i want to show you let me show you real quick i'm going to oops got my tablet pen here and i got that set for something else let me show you copy this frame and i'm going to paste it right here so yeah, it's the same thing, but the head, you know, I don't have the other ones down there. But say if I wanted to have this one change on this frame, like, you know, blood or something come out of his head or something that you want, or you want to change the size. But um, that's the thing about symbols. They, the, when you change that one symbol, it's going to change on all of the frames, no matter what frame you have it on. So... The thing to fix that is you're gonna to have to copy this um this this symbol right here, the head if you wanna um do something with it. You're gonna copy it and you're gonna paste it. Oops, my bad. I forgot to um duplicate it. My bad. Um I want to go to duplicate and I wanna yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at copy because I'm just showing you guys and trying to um so yeah, see, it's different right here. It's right here, and now I'm going to change it in this one. So I'm going to double-click it, and that brings me to the edit window to change the symbol. So let's do something to them real quick. Let's... Um, yeah, let's just put something like that on them. Blood or something. Again, you don't have to do this. Like, um, if you just want to put blood on your character, all you have to do is just put another um, layer above the head or something like that. And that'll save you some time. So we're going to go back. We're going to hit this blue um, what was it? arrow to go back. And now, that's my that's the one head. i got to go and get my other head now. It's that head. It's still right there. Now I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to clear the frame. And now I'm going to drag this one in. Okay. But now you see that one is different. But you, you, get, you get what I'm trying to say. Is that I have two different symbols and they're different things. You know, you can make, you can edit the head and put a hat on them or something for later or something like that. You know, change it up and stuff. So make sure to duplicate symbols if you want to change it up. Like you can make one head with a beard or something and leave the other head without a beard or something. Make it make it unique. Okay, what was the other part I was gonna talk about? Um with symbols. I hope I could fit this all in one part. Um Oh yeah. Like what I and you can like make mouths and stuff. Like I have a ton of mouths that you can use. I mean that I use. If you look over here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, you had you just make miles, you know, and you can use them when you talk with your character. I'm gonna have a um a tutorial on that lip syncing the characters. You know, smiles and everything. Hard frown on whatever. Got a lot of them.
It's just a bunch of mouths and stuff. So yeah, I you you could just like like you put a mouth in here somewhere, and see now it looks like you know if you, like what I'm trying to say is you can make him seem like he's talking or something. I mean, give the illusion of speech because everything in animation is an illusion. And then the next frame, you could put another mouth. You no, know, just you know whatever you want. So yeah, that's what you can do with the symbols. Symbols are awesome. And you can always use these in more work areas. I mean, works that you're trying to do. So yeah, you get mouths and stuff. So yeah, pretty much that's what you can do with symbols. You can do anything you want with a symbol. And, you know, nothing bad would happen to it. It won't fall apart when you move it. So yeah, it's all one thing. So I hope this has been helpful. This has been the second part are not the second part but this has been the symbols for you know adobe um flash you know how to use symbols and what they're good for i mean if you want me to go more in depth i am going to make more videos of me going more in depth with these um programs but you know this is youtube and they won't let you have such long videos and i don't have the time to um edit a lot of videos and put them all together and stuff but you see what you can do and stuff you can apply this sort of other things you know arms body parts if you don't want to use the bone tool that is so yeah this has been your guy Devin the geek and i am out of here see ya peace